How was uh, Trent University? I love Trent University. Um, I'm going into my third year here. You're going to third year. What course are you taking? I'm doing a joint major in Canadian Studies and International Development. Nice. So what brought you to this school specifically? Why not UFT or York University? Why, so why Trent? I actually picked out Trent when I was in like grade 7. Grade 7? Um, yeah, for two different reasons mainly. Um, and how about the professors or the teachers themselves? How is your experience so far? So, uh, so far my experience has been 100% great. Wow. Professors have helped me a lot with all this stuff. Uh... Hello everyone and once again welcome to Presenting Canada to the World. Today we are here to showcase to you Trent University. So Trent University has a major milestone and in front of me is actually the main campus on Peterborough and this school is set in by the water which is the Trent Seven Waterway. And this school goes way the way back to 1964 and is one of the top schools in Canada in general and if you're looking for undergraduate schools Trent is ranked number one all over Canada and Ontario and is always continuously to be number one so this is the main campus and you can see several buildings there's a building right here in front of me, which is the chemical science building. And they have a very unique uh, bridge over the road where it goes over the river and it takes you to the school. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of vlogging and traveling and give you a little bit of history and why you should apply to this school. So Trent currently has over 12,000 students and over 54,000 alumni worldwide. So as I've mentioned before, the school was established in 1964 and it has over 100 programs across the two campus. So one campus is in Peterborough and that's the location that I'm currently are, which is about 90 minutes away from Toronto downtown. And another location is in Oshawa, which is the Durham campus. And that itself is about 40 minutes away from downtown Toronto. So what does Trent actually specialize in? Trent is very good for business schools. If you're looking for financing and accounting, then definitely Trent is your option to come to school for. Other areas also include the chemistry, it also has a very good nursing program and one thing I like about Trent University is that it's also affiliated with Fleming College. Not a lot of people knows about Fleming College but Fleming College is also located in Peterborough and a lot of students sometimes if they cannot get into university their first option is to use the Trent or I would say the Fleming College as a stepping stone to get into Trent University. So this is all the campus as you can see. And they're doing some renovations here. But they have a very, very wonderful campus. Very, very wonderful campus. Very scenery. And when you come to Peterborough, it's about 10 minutes away from the downtown core Peterborough downtown. So this also gives the students some privacy when they want to study. I myself have been to Trent University several times and in the early 2000s I used to come here quite often and now I haven't been here for a while but now I'm here to vlog for you to bring you to you one of the best undergraduate universities in Canada 
and one of the amazing things is that in the summertime the students can actually swim in this river here and as a witness you can see people already lying over the dock and somebody's already swimming and it got a couple of people canoeing what a beautiful campus Trent is and it continues to be ranking among the top universities in Canada so in case if you're looking for a place for your kid to come to university and if they cannot get into UFT or Ryerson University or all these top university like York University then definitely I encourage you especially for international students this will be definitely a school of choice they boast a student ratio of 1 to 20 and that also is a reason why this school ranks among the top undergraduate schools in Canada because anytime you have a very low student to teacher ratio then the teachers can spend more time with the students it's a very nice area and I encourage you to come and visit this campus if you're in the area if you take the 401 from Toronto then you catch the highway 115 you're gonna be here in a minute especially for international students I get questions all the time and they ask me uh, Kobina what schools are the best schools in Canada or what schools should I apply I think this is one of the hidden gem schools where you can apply straight and the acceptance rate is very very high for international students so if you're an international student wondering which school should I apply in Canada then definitely I encourage you to go and check Trent University campus because arguably if you come here your money is gonna be well spent you can see the building architect is quite unique and the way the school is located definitely if you are here you're gonna have a peace of mind to study and it's one of my favorite campuses of schools across Canada let's go a little bit closer to see more of the campuses and you can see this is a very open area here where if they want to do any concerts or any graduations or ceremony definitely this place will fit for that event and here is another campus area overlooking the lake and all you see is very very charming views and that's the student hostel so if you are in that student hostel you can overlook in the lake and let's bring a little bit closer to the bridge what a scenery wow this is a very 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 nice area so Trent University as I've mentioned before it was opened in 1964 and it has a lot of lot of alumni so definitely the tuition school uh, fees is also very reasonable for international students and also even the local people in Canada if you're looking for a school the tuition is very very reasonable uh, let's take a little bit of walk to this side as well in our days it was quite challenging because getting into university in Canada back then was very very heavy you need a higher GPA but with the modern system with the Canadian school now it's a little bit easier to get into university and Trent University is one of my you want to say anything to how about the school uh, yeah sure. how was there Trent University I love Trent University um, I'm going into my third year here you're going to third year what course are you taking I'm doing a joint major in Canadian studies and international development nice so what brought you to this school specifically why not UFT or York University why you so, I trained I actually picked out Trent when I was in like grade 7 grade 7 um, yeah for two different reasons mainly um, I've always lived by a river okay so for me it was like coming to the campus really felt like home right away right and I would say that like that's a common experience mm -hmm. and I think that a lot of students are able to really find their home in the college system as well right so you can try out a couple of different colleges and find which one suits you the best mm -hmm. I know that I'm currently affiliated with Catherine Park Trail College which okay. is our downtown college okay I love it there nice library spaces everywhere nice so yeah um, I'm really happy and also the financial aid and bursaries here. is very the financial aid the brochure is very good Fantastic. Exactly. So how was your experience in terms of international students? If somebody is from Africa or Asia, they want to apply, what would you suggest? Is it good I for international say, students? I would say that it's 
It's a candy for international students. Yeah. I understand that they pay more tuition and a couple yeah. of things like that than do domestic students. Yeah. But right up here, actually, in our third floor of Champlain College, we have our Trent International Department. Okay, so okay. So if you have any questions at all yes. about being an international student at Trent, right. make sure that you connect with them right away and they can help you with individual like financial aid applications international students right um also if you are an international student and are coming to trent this year don't forget to get in contact with our trent um international orientation facilitator okay they'll be able to run orientation events that are specifically geared towards international students oh. helping you out with all of your questions that you have about being an international student here in canada and specifically at trent university all right thank you so much right, thank you, you so day. much all right thank you so much so this was a witness from one of the current students at trent university and she gave you pretty much all the testimony that's been described in this video so definitely if you're an international student or if you're just a local student then definitely i encourage you to really 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 come to this campus and visit at least just to get an idea so we're heading to one of the major corridors area here i believe is the library so this area also gives you more sceneries and as you could see here it's just the scenery goes on and on and on and on so anywhere you want to study you can just come in here and just enjoy some quiet time and just study the campus is very very stunning and i could see that people that are coming here they are very very also happy with the programs and then the teacher to student ratio so trent is a very very unique school and sometimes when it comes to the top major schools like uft Sometimes it's one of those hidden gems where people don't talk too much about it. But from my experience going to university in Canada and also obtaining my master's degree, I can actually testify that Trent is one of those schools where if you're looking for proper undergraduate teaching, studies and research, then definitely this is your place or this is your home. So this is one of the areas as well. Uh, it's called the Lady Eaton College and it's part of the amenities of Trent College. So we're just gonna go back again. And by the way, this is the parking lot. And as you can see, quite spacious and quite greenery. So uh, Trent, as you have heard from one of the alumni, has always been the cornerstone of Canadian education. And we're just here showcasing to you some of the amenities and the building areas. If we get a chance, we'll try to go inside, but if we don't go the inside, at least you get the idea of the campus and the school area and what it's all about. The tuition is very, very reasonable for international students. So definitely it will be on one of my list to consider. If you don't want to come to the Peterborough campus, then definitely the Durham campus also, which is about 40 minutes away from Toronto, that will be an ideal campus for you as well. Canada is blessed with a lot of colleges but definitely Trent, as I said, is one of my top list when it comes to undergraduate schools. And definitely look at also the back of the building here. They also have the bus system here. And I remember in the past, they used to have a pass for the students. So once you pay your school fees, you can also get a pass. So wherever that you go across the city of Peterborough, it will also be factored in and it will be free. Let's go check out this area as well as we explore the campus together. Yeah, so this is more of the campus areas and this is the Champlain College. Also, if you're looking for any international um, student concerns, you can find it here. You have music room, office, and lecture halls. And as the architect just keeps going on, it's just a very, very, very nice spot if you really, really wanna have some quiet time. Also, you have the Trent International Office here, uh, the Morton Reading Room, the faculty office. Uh, let's see if we can actually go inside.
Uh, so just giving you a little bit of tour. And here we come to the second floor. Yeah, so this is a typical hallway. And you see the, the top here. And you can see the entire skyline of the Trent University here. And you can see the rooftop. And yeah, it's a, this is the Champlain South. And one of the professor's uh, area. So we try our best to see if we can give you a bit of a glimpse of what's going on. So we just headed back downstairs. Is there more offices? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Where's the main campus? The library? Oh, the library is right there. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's check out the library. Can I exit from here? Yeah, you can exit this student. See okay. the friend? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so let's see if we can talk to more students. Uh, so basically, that's the library. Yeah, so the, the talk continues. Let's see if we can get to the library if uh, it's open. Yeah, so just uh, still on the tour at the Trent campus and I guess you can appreciate all the work that has been put in to bring you all this campus tour um, definitely definitely as I said I will consider this school over many of the top ranked schools in Ontario or in Canada because of their affordability in terms of tuition uh, the location wise the community I think is one of a kind so let's go check out this library but you could see that it's nice, nicely, really, really well laid out. <laughs> 